Hey guys, today we're going to check out an app called Snapseed. It's a photo app, photo editing app from um, Google. And it pretty much allows you to do a whole bunch of cool stuff with your pictures to just enhance them, bring out the details, make them a bit punchier, a bit snappier. Um, so let's get stuck right in. I've loaded up a picture here. This picture was shot on my SLR with a 50mm lens. It's already quite colorful, but uh, let's see what we can do to improve this picture. So, Snapseed, basic interface, uh, bottom right, you'll see the little pen icon. Tap that, that brings up your main menu of editing functions. We're not, not going to look at all of this today, but um, you'll be pleased to note that there are a bunch of really cool filters in Snapseed, so you could actually prepare your Instagram posts directly in Snapseed. Uh, without having to use Instagram's editing functions. So let's let's start off with tune image top left. There you get your basic brightness, contrast, saturation, ambience, highlights, shadows, and warmth. Now to navigate through these options, you simply swipe up and down, and to change any of the values, you swipe left or right. So if I needed some more brightness, I would swipe right. I'm going to pump that up to about 10 or so. Similarly with contrast, let's just whack it up to about 20. And to compare your changes to the original version, you just hit the top right preview uh, toggle switch over there. On and off, slight changes there so far. Let's do a few more changes. Let's go down to ambience. This just really makes the image shine a whole lot more. Gives it some nice punch, but you don't want to overdo this, it starts to look a bit unreal. Ambience is basically HDR, high dynamic range. It brings up the shadows, it brings down the highlights, and it pumps up the 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 color, the saturation. You can see what's happening there. So if I compare that to the previous view, huge difference. Much more detail in my shadows, much more vibrance. The highlights are brought down slightly, but it's looking a bit too much. So let's bring this down to about 20. Let's compare that. That's all right. Shadows and warmth and highlights are also available to you. Warmth is simply your color temperature. To turn to the left would make it cooler, and up to the right would make it a whole lot warmer. Let's leave that at about 12. All right, so what next? This image could probably be cropped square if I wanted to put it on Instagram. So let's hit bottom right pencil again. Hit crop and let's go square and see where we want to end up here. It's looking all right. Let's bring it in slightly. There we go. Okay, what next? Let's have a look. Details. Here's where you can change your, st your structure and your sharpness. Structure does that. Again, don't do too much. It's going to start looking unnatural and not very attractive. I'm actually not going to use any of that. Sharpness, we could put that up a bit. And hit tick. Okay. One really cool feature that's built into Snapseed is... Um, its ability to recognize a face and make edits uh, on a face without you needing to manually select the face. So let's check that out. That's further down in your menu. And a face. Enhance face. So a couple of different combinations you have available to you here. Currently it's on uh, combo one. Let's have a look and compare that. I'm just going to zoom in for you so you can see what's going on here. This is with the settings applied, this is without. So if you see the eyes, they've been sharpened and the skin has been smoothed out a bit and brightened up and it's just made a subtle improvement to the original image. Checking out some of the other options, that was combo one. Combo two, slightly less saturation. Combo three, a bit warmer, browner. And you can change the individual settings for each of these combos. Spotlight, smoothing, and eye clarity. Let's give the eyes some more clarity. You can see they're really popping now, but you've got to be careful because the white of the eye 
is starting to look a bit unnatural here compared to before and after. So the eyelashes and the pupil and the color of the eye are looking really good with that effect but the white of the eye is starting to look a bit unnatural. So let's dial that back a bit to about there. We still get some of the sharpness but it's not so extreme. So play around with, with that. You can really make some nice um, changes and enhancements to two faces in your pictures. What else can we do with the image? We can add text to it. We can add a vignette, which I will do now. I like really that I like vignettes because they just uh, draw your attention towards the, the center of the picture, away from the edges if that's what you want. So you can be really strong that's too much or nothing at all or even the white vignettes for that dreamy look but I'm gonna give it a, about a th minus 30 black vignettes let's go with that compare before after before after <coughs> and there we go can also adjust your curves for the image much like in Photoshop this is getting quite advanced Snapseed really has a lot of functionality, a lot of powerful functionality built in that's quite unusual for a free photo editing app. So Google's really done a great job here. A lot of effects you can apply here. Vintage looks. So you can cycle through the options. Much like Instagram here now. That's a nice one. That's a bit of a cross-processed one. Before and after. Before and after. Let's go with that one. There we go. All right, so you can also do uh, tonal contrast, grunge, glamour glow, HDR, a whole lot of stuff you can do. Uh, so this is really where you can get creative and arty and just edit the image according to your own tastes. Uh, up top here is where you do your, your basic edits, as we've done. The brightness, contrast, shadows, highlights, warmth, the cropping, sharpness, that kind of stuff. So that's a basic introduction to Snapseed. A uh, really fully fledged app, and I'd encourage you to play around. This has definitely got to be one of the best free photo editing apps available. Cheers.